guys, it's Tilly and today I'm back with another book haul slash like a mini unboxing from Tex Publishing. So we shall start off with what Tex sent me. So pretty much I've already ripped into this package because I have no self-control and I saw straight away that was some goodies. So I've got this little bag of lollies which I'm totally going to devour the moment this video is over because I've been watching them now for like a day and I just really, really want to eat them. Next up you reach in and I have some soap. This is goat soap so you just know it's going to be really great and I'm actually really excited. If you guys don't watch my videos, I love baths, I love soaps, I love everything that smells good, so of course I love that. Then we have a little bracelet, it's kind of like a friendship braided bracelet with NS on it, and it has got NS on it for a specific reason, and that is because the book is called Night Swimming by Steph Bow, and um, the actual book, and the actual book is wrapped in this like really, really cute towel fabric thing. <gasps> da -da -da -da! Okay, it's a really pretty cover. It's like another one of those like simplistic yet stunning covers and I think that publishers are doing things really really right at the moment to create covers like this, especially because like even the spine looks really good and wow, I'm so excited. It's so pretty. But what's it about to say? Let me find out. This is like a coming at age story set in a small town. So you've got Clancy and Kirby who are best friends. Kirby's a female and Clancy I'm assuming is a male and they are the only two 17 year olds in this tiny town. And Clancy has always wanted to leave the town. He wants to go and find things. Whereas Kirby, her entire family has always left town. So she's kind of like, maybe she should stay. It could create a different life. Plus she's much like me. She doesn't want to leave her pet. She's got a pet goat called Stanley, a dog called Morgan and her cat called Marianne. Very good names. I'm already feeling Kirby. I really like her. And so she's kind of like, should I stay or should I go now? But then a girl called Iris comes into town who is beautiful, wears crazy clothes, plays the mandolin, and seems perfect. And of course Clancy, he's all like, I really like this girl. I want to win her over. And of course our girl Kirby is all like, but I also have feelings for her too. So yeah, there might be like a love triangle, but I'm really hoping it'll be like a well-written one or like it'll just not be centered around the love triangle but either way like it sounds like it's going to be a pretty good contemporary hopefully it'll have good message in it and characters that i love and a storyline that shall keep me turning the pages thank you to tech for sending me that out and all these goodies as well i'm very very excited to get around to reading it and hopefully i shall do that soon when i get out of my blasted reading slump especially because i've got a few more books to add to my tbr this month so first up i've been looking at this next book for quite a while i've been seeing the paperback in stores but i think it is really really ugly so when I was in Canada I saw the hardback of the thousandth floor by Catherine McGee and I was like hell yeah I am gonna like look at you and pat you for like a few trips into the store and I ripped it already what the f I've been told that this is like the book form of Gossip Girl I also went to Perth Writers Festival a few days maybe weeks ago my concept of time is absolutely ridiculous but they had these free snippet books over here so there's like chapters from upcoming books coming out in 2017 and I'm not gonna read all the ones on the back of them if you guys do want me to tell you what they are I'm more than happy to post them in the comment section below. I also saw Garth Nixer. He has recently released his new book called Frog Kisser. I didn't actually buy it at the event. I bought it later on when I could use my gift voucher points because I'm not actually buying books with my money. So this book is about Princess Anya who made a promise to her sister to save her sister's prince who has turned into a frog. He was turned into a frog from their evil stepfather and so now she needs to go on an adventure to find a certain wizard who can basically create this like a lip balm that she can kiss him with and he will turn back into a prince but it's not really her true love so she's just kind of doing a favour to her sister. So it sounds like it's going to be a really fun adventure book and there should be plenty of laughs along the way. It's a very small collection poetry book. This is Without a Mercy by Bethany Hanlon Lake. I only just received this the other day and I'm very excited to get around to doing it. Once again, I'll leave a link to this uh, Goodreads and Amazon down below so you guys can check it out. I don't really know much about poetry books. I've read a few, but I'm really trying to read more. So I'm very excited to get around to this one. I will leave a link to that one below as well as I will with like the majority of those books, but not for this next one because I'm pretty sure all of you guys have heard about it and it is a conjuring of light why do i keep doing this it is a conjuring of light by ve schwab this is the third and final book in the darker shade of magic series and it is like almost 700 pages of absolute wonder and i'm very excited to read it but I hate to say it, but I don't think I'm going to get around to reading it anytime soon because this book is intimidating as hell and I'm in a reading slump and I just can't see it. If you guys like fantasy, I would recommend that you guys check out A Darker Shade of Magic. Uh, it's quite a fun read. I have enjoyed both the other books and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this one as well, but yeah. That's my book haul. I don't really know what to call this book haul because it's not really for a certain month. It was just like I accumulated books and thought that I would share them with you guys. 
I cannot speak today. So that is all that I have got for this book haul today. Thank you to texts and authors that have sent me their books out. I am very excited to read them because I've only said that like 60,000 times in this video. I'm gonna go before I keep on ruining this video. The quality is just going down and down. Thank you guys for watching. Hope that you guys have a lovely bookish day and I shall see you guys again soon. Hey guys, it's Chili and today I'm going to...